friends. Today, I'm gonna give you a little motivation to give yourself a fabulous gift that will help you feel better and help you lower your blood sugar levels. Uh, perhaps you're just finding me. If you are, welcome. I've been doing Facebook Lives since the end of March, since this COVID world began. If you've been following me for a while, thank you. I'm so glad you found me. Um, my name is Dr. Jody Stanislaw. I've had type 1 diabetes for 40 years, and I am old school. I do shots, and I do work with patients. I have a virtual practice. I have training courses. I have lots of stuff to help patients with type 1 diabetes get off the blood sugar roller coaster. So ever since this COVID world began, I wanted to be someone out there to inspire you and educate you on how we can stay healthy and happy during these interesting COVID times. And so I've been sharing tips. Um, this is like 81, number 81. <laughs> I come live on Facebook right around three o'clock Pacific, uh, six o'clock Eastern, Monday through Friday. Um, I probably will for at least till I get to 100 and then I'll, I'll probably be announcing something else I'll be doing so you can continue to be inspired by me. But that's what I'm here for is, you know, I've had type one for 40 years, so I get it. You know, I get it if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is a lot, or maybe you're feeling great and you just like watching my videos. That's awesome too. So we're in this together. And uh, so I'm so glad you found me. I've had so many new patients find me and get I've gotten so many letters of feedback of saying how much these simple videos are helping you get lower A1Cs, helping you not go low when you work out, um, you know, have better breakfast ideas, have better overnight numbers. Um, so I'm full of information to help you live a healthy life with type 1. So please follow me. Um, you can check out my website at drjodynd.com and there's lots of free info there. So let's see, today I've had a bit of a rough day. Um, I know to many of you, this is not a rough day, but um, this has been a rough day for me. I decided to um, put some banana in my smoothie this morning and I just did not dose appropriately for it. I went up to 170, which made me feel completely wiped out because I normally run you know, between 70 and, and 130, 140 most of the time. And so then I... Um, I probably gave myself a little too much insulin and then I went on a walk and then I thought I was crashing low. So then I ate a little bit more of a banana and then I was so hungry. I had to half a sandwich. So it's just, I've been on the roller coaster. And so um, I'm here to say that I am human, but this is, I mean, obviously to the majority of the type one diabetes world, this isn't a bad roller coaster, but when you're as finely tuned as I generally am, um, we kind of get used to feeling good with whatever our normal is. I mean, I know some people that feel normal at 200 and feel low at 150 because they generally aren't 150, right? But the goal is that we are between 70 and 120, maybe up to 130, 140 as much as possible um, with proper education on how to avoid lows. Um, so, and that's of course what I teach in my how to get off the blood sugar roller coaster course and a nutrition and how to dose and how to master your blood sugar with exercise. Those are my three foundational courses that really can change your life. But I'm also human, you know, diabetes is really complicated. And um, so it all started with me putting some extra banana in my smoothie and now I'm a little wiped out. Um, I get pretty tired when I go up to 170 and then down to 110 and now back up to 135. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm just so much more aware of my body than I used to be, or just because I've had it for 40 years. Uh, I don't remember feeling so much about being on a roller coaster when I was young because I know I hit 300 like on a regular basis, but I, uh, I'm just worn out. And so my tip for today is, you know, maybe you're feeling worn out. Maybe you're emotionally exhausted. Maybe you're burnt out or maybe you've had some tough news. You know, the world is kind of crazy. And so my gift for you today is if you have a minute to just close your eyes and take deep breaths. If you have five minutes to just lay down, we deserve that. It doesn't have to be an hour, you know, break. It doesn't have to be a major, um, you know, just like I, that's what I talk about with exercise too. People are like, oh, I don't have an hour to exercise. Well, let's take the baby steps of relaxation too. I love setting my phone for one minute. I close my eyes. <sighs> take a few deep breaths 
You know, we can sprinkle, uh, one of my friends calls it, I think, sprinkling exercise through her day. No, it's, it's much more savvy than that. Um, but, you know, I like to sprinkle relaxation through the day. You know, sometimes we keep going so fast that by the end of the day, we're exhausted. And my analogy is like a rock rolling down from the top of a mountain. You know, at first it goes slow, but as the day goes on and as the roll goes on, it goes faster and faster and faster and faster, right? And then we get to the day and some people need a drink or some people get in a fight or some people feel depressed, right? Well, let's be in the mindset of preventative medicine, which as a holistic doc, what I'm all about. So I am probably going to go for a short 10 minute walk to get my number back down to where the range I like it to be. And then I'll probably take a 20 minute nap. Um, so if you can do that, if you can have one minute to take a rest, if you can have one minute to take a breath, I like to set my phone for one minute, like before I start my car, not that I've been driving anywhere these days, because I don't even have a car right now due to COVID. <laughs> um, you know, if you can add in little breath breaks, walk breaks, it's such a great way to bring our stress down, to bring more joy into our life. And then, of course, reduce any blood sugar spike caused by the stress, because we all, I'm sure, have seen stress raise the blood sugar. Um, Karen says, thanks, Dr. Jody. Please do mention the numbers for your fans in England. You bet, Karen. Um, all you have to do to take um, the numbers that I say, like 100 or 200, um, is you divide by 18. Okay, so a 180 would be 10 in millimole. Or let's see, a 100 would be a little bit over five, right? Because 20 times five is 100. So um, so that's how you do the millimole to, um, uh, the when I say my numbers, you just divide it by 18. So, and I can't do the math always so quickly when I say like 140. So, but you can think 140 is going to be obviously be under 10 by about two points. So 140 is going to be around eight right? No, it'll be around seven, right? Because do it by 20. If you do it by 20, that's easier, right? So 100 is about five, 120 is about six, 140 is about seven, etc. So, all right. So if you're struggling, please um, be reminded that you're not alone because I'm a little wiped out from my roller coaster this morning. And uh, one thing that you will learn when working with me or going through my courses is that I can't guarantee that you'll never have a roller coaster because that's impossible, but I can guarantee that you'll understand so much better. Oh, I know exactly why I went high today. I know exactly why I went low today. You'll have more confidence about how to avoid your highs and how to avoid your lows because you'll get such better education that explains to you what the numbers are doing. So people that work with me or learn from my courses really say it's some of the best education they've ever had in however many years or decades they've had type one. So I'm here to help you. That's my passion. That's why I run my business the way I do. Um, giving all these free Facebook lives for four months now. Um, I'm so happy you found me. So to keep following me, just sign up for my um, free gift on my website. Um, I also have a free videos there and a newsletter sign up. So my website is drjodynd.com. So I am going to go take a walk and then I'm going to take a nap. So I hope you can take a, take a break or a simple breath break or walk break today too. So sending my, sending my love for good self-care to you today. I'll be back tomorrow right around this time and you have a great day. Please leave a comment below. I love it when people comment. I love hearing what you think about the video, what you liked, what you learned, what you want to learn. I have two requests, one on coffee and one on dealing, uh, talking about lows and seizures. So those are on my to-do list. Uh, somebody asked me for one on how to deal with um, sugar addiction. I did that a few days ago. And how to deal with depression. I did that a few days ago as well. You can find all my videos right on my Facebook page. I've got 80 of them if you scroll down. So thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.